Hmm. Why would anyone build a deer statue in the middle of the woods? May your hand be just, but your shears patient. The masked dragon slayer approaches cautiously. Am I unsettling you? Well, no. I'm just always cautious. <laughs> That's wise. Now, I haven't had the chance to ask. Did the dragon meet your expectations? Was your hunger for knowledge satiated? Or did you let it die unfed? So you already know. Guess this shouldn't surprise me. And I hope it doesn't. There's more shocking truths maybe yet to unfold. In his last moments, 
Peewee the Imp told me about... About his brother, who ran off to the sacred grove, laying the honey trail right to where the beauty sleeps. Yes, it all comes together, the real problems of the forest. Once again, peace in our land hangs in the balance. I still don't quite see how it all really ties together. A heedful ear would hear murmurs about the grove every now and again. A watchful eye would see the imps behave in a disturbing way. They're just imps. They always act like that. Why do you think this is something to be concerned about? This time, it's different. They're organized. Little birds started singing songs about that sleeping beauty a long time ago. Even before I started paying attention. But a root-infested imp getting involved in all of that is no good news. Whatever sleeps in there should never awake. You keep mentioning that sleeping beauty. It's a code word, right? Rumors about what sleeps in the sacred grove have been around for generations. Some say it's a princess cursed with eternal sleep. Others that it's some primordial evil. A kingdom in thorns and vines. Or should I say, roots. A man as influential as yourself must know which side to trust. Neither. And both. Someone could take that old legend as a prophecy to justify all kinds of tyranny. Whatever awakens in the grove will cause a lot of unnecessary commotion. With all the recent changes in the forest, a thoughtful individual would anticipate the worst. And the worst we cannot afford. For someone with eyes and ears all around the forest, you're not very... outspoken about that grove. No information's impossible to acquire, but sometimes it's a matter of time rather than effort. The sacred grove is ancient, and peculiar parts of it remain locked away by a seal or two. Imp... impenetrable wall of mystery. Not a single one of my men has ever got through. So that's what bothers you. You don't really know what's going on inside. Bold of you to claim that. But you're not far from the truth. Whatever cannot be known cannot be controlled. There's something really sticky in all of this. The grove, ancient legends and secrets. And then little mushrooms in their ploy with Peewee, the dragon. Ah, yes, them. All the answers lie in the sacred grove, anyway. And this is why I need a pair of eyes there. That little rascal Twig and I still have a score to settle. I think I can spare some time to check on that sleeping beauty. Should your little tourist excursion prove unsatisfactory, feel free to take a convenient shortcut. The one we sometimes take when someone is beyond control, or already controlled by something else. An infected limb needs to go, and a wound yearns for hot iron. All for the good of the forest. Ona zabiła Piwiego. Jego brata też zabije? We have yet to see. East from here, on the other side of the river.
Oh, not you again. What the? Listen, the cat says that the stone says that one of the stonelings fell into the river. It'll turn into a useless goldfish if it stays in the water for too long. We can't let that happen. You'll need to fish it out, and for that, you'll need a rod with a golden line. Are you serious? Do any of us look like we're joking? <laughs> Thankfully, you're nosy enough to already have the line. Hmm. The cat says, the stone says, that's the one. We don't have much time. Put it on a stick, and we're good to go. The cat said... The cat says that the stone said... But what is it that you don't understand in this sentence? Down the river. I did it! But it's a carp. Not a goldfish or a stoneling. Well, no wonder the stone got that wrong. He doesn't even have real eyes or ears. What? Wait a minute. <clears throat> you might as well eat the fish. It's not like it's gonna be any three wishes. Or any wishes. Let's get out of here. <sighs> with the wrong mushrooms. Good we'll wing your neck, miserable human. <laughs> Did you? There was no dragon in that. Just a fat, gluttonous imp. <laughs> See, Jack? Smoke and mirrors. Greed poisons men's souls and minds. Hmm. Just because there was no dragon in there doesn't mean there isn't any. Or maybe she slew the beast, but she's just too humble to take all the glory, huh? <laughs> anyway, we fixed the bridge just as promised. And here's something more for the effort. Yes, some very special <laughs> sticky arrows. I think you'll figure out how to craft more of them easily. Plans for sticky arrows. I've heard of mighty hunters who made them. <laughs> that knowledge was long forgotten. Oh, slowing the enemies down will surely give me an upper hand. Unless it's the witch, who... The witch? What are you talking about? The witch is long gone. Um, you know, Baba the witch? You must have heard of her. People talk about her all the time. Ah, we know what you speak of, girl, but Baba, as you put it, is no witch. It's something far darker. Baba. Baba. Ooh, that's a hell of a name, though. Anyway, good luck and take care. Oh, and see you around. I have a feeling we'll meet again soon enough. <laughs> Nice little 
little souvenir. Hm. I'll look good on a shelf. <laughs> you don't need to be a prince. A garden ornament is just enough. Oh, what's up? How did you get here? Three baby teeth and a fat wisp's wing. A goat's bile and a raven's quid. I have a spider, a Sherlock or two, a serpent's scale. Hmm. A dragon's will do. I need a cure. Finding yourself first. Just and righteous. Ain't no place for new girls like you.
just the righteous. Huh. Go wring your neck, miserable human. Take to your heels, crew. Solidny most. 
No, ten. Watch where you're going, princess. Who dares to hear you are, squire? I've been waiting for you. <clears throat> How fare ye, Sir Knight? All right. Give me the powder. Well done, village girl. Look, I don't want to disappoint you, but I've already been to the Dragon's Den, and... And? Did you say it all by yourself? I didn't see a single dragon there. Then you solved nothing yet. The dragon's out there somewhere, and we still have to slay it! If you say so... How's your crusade going? All right, I'll see what I can do. How fell heartily? Fancy a walk in the woods, my lady? did fix the bridge. Hmm. Took him a while. <gasps> there it is. Is it true what folks say? That spirits can carry lost memories? Dragoy, I'm coming for you.